Good afternoon everybody. You are all very welcome to our annual sixth year graduation. Unfortunately again this year uh, we have to put on a virtual graduation due to COVID-19 but that also ensures that all me members of our community are kept safe. As a group I want to commend you in the manner in which you've conducted yourself here in the school, particularly uh, at Senior Cycle. It has not been easy. You have shown great maturity and resilience to adapt to a constantly evolving situation and I really have appreciated your efforts in that regard. For many, you are now at a crossroads in your lives. For some of you, you have very definite plans made uh, for the future. For others, you are still not sure. Your leaving started to connect as a stepping stone, whether that is going on to college, entering the workforce, doing a PLC or an apprenticeship. You have decisions to make now. Take your time uh, in making these decisions. Um, that's very important. Feedback from the staff has been very positive regarding this six-year group. Uh, they've developed into a well-rounded uh, group of young individuals uh, who will be able to avail of whatever opportunities that come their way. There is no doubt as young people you will make mistakes and bad choices. However, it is important that you learn from those mistakes. The core values that we have tried to instill in you over the last five to six years are very important. Things like uh, having respect for those that you interact with, having a positive outlook on life, uh, being solution focused, looking at opportunities rather than seeing problems all the time, having good manners and also having a strong work ethic will assist you greatly in whatever career that you want to do. Firstly, there's a number of people I would like to thank. Uh, parents and guardians for your continued support while your son and our daughter was here in the school. Uh, it was very much appreciated. All staff that assist the students in their journey through secondary education. I would particularly like to highlight Mr. Damien Mean, the year head, and class tutors, Ms. Helen O'Brien, Ms. Jessica Doyle, Ms. Breeding Kelly, and Brian Stack, Mr. Brian Stack, for their pastoral care and academic support of the students uh, right throughout their time here in EVC. I would also like to thank Mr. Connor Dempsey, who worked tremendously with the Leaving Cert Applied cohort here in the school. My two deputy principals, Ms. Kay Kennedy and Mr. Cotner Berry, who uh, assisted me greatly in working with with the sixth year students as well. Uh, that was very much appreciated. Um, I finally want to thank uh, particularly uh, Ms. Anita Cullen and Mr. Liam Sharkey for uh, all the work they've done in ensuring that the graduation uh, went ahead, uh, videoing, filming, uh, and also the production of the, the graduation booklet, uh, which no doubt in years to come, uh, will students will be able to look back on and see their, uh, I suppose, memories of their time here in EBC. Finally, I want to wish all students the very best in the upcoming exams, whether you're taking accredited grades or the written exams. For those that are taking the written exams, I urge you to maintain your focus for the next month or so, and you will reap the rewards later. I have no doubt that all students leaving this year will be successful in no matter what they do. And I suppose at this point now, I just want to wish you health and happiness for the future and hope to see you, see you all at some stage later on in your careers. So take care and all the best. The graduation night in Enniscorty Vocational College has always been a very special night here. It's a final chance for students to celebrate and share their memories of their time in EVC. Tonight, this will be no different. Even though it is very disappointing and difficult not being able to be together in the hall this evening as the class of 2021. Graduation is a time to celebrate the end of school and the start of something new in their lives. It is an acknowledgement of all our hard work and commitment to our studies and extracurricular activities. And for many, it is the memories that will last a lifetime. With traditions kept in mind in these unpredictable times, we, the class of 2021, welcome you all to our virtual celebration. We were asked to choose a theme for our graduation to represent our years of development in EBC. We are one, together but apart.
From our first days as shy, quiet first years, we have grown into the seniors of the school and we have become friends who respect each other's cultures and ethnicity. The respect we have for each other has shaped us into the young people we are and to the adults we will become and the amazing human beings that we have the potential to be. We have been greatly supported on our journey by our loved ones, parents, grandparents and guardians. We would not be the people we are today without their support and guidance. They are with us today as we celebrate our graduation from secondary school. Their support has meant the world to us and will continue to as we begin the next stage of our journey. We have formed many strong bonds since our first days as innocent first years for our final year here in Inniscorty Vocation College. True friendship is like a tree, not measured by how tall it has grown, but by how deep the roots grow. Friendship is like standing on wet cement. The longer you stay, the harder it is to leave, and you can never go without leaving your footprints behind. A friend is one that knows you as you are, understands where you have been, accepts what you have become, and still gently allows you to grow. We ask for your quality in our lives. We should always treat others the way we would like to be treated. We may have different religions, languages, the colour of skin and sexuality, but we all belong to one human race. We are one. As a group, we have had many experiences, good and bad, but we will always be united in the memories we share in EBC, together but apart. Graduation, a celebration, a time for looking back on lessons learned, adventures shared, bright moments filled with special meaning. A farewell, a time for saying goodbye to old friends, to good time you've known. A time for packing away memories, treasures for tomorrow. A beginning, a time for looking forward, a time to set new goals, to dream new dreams, to try your wings and see what lies beyond. I present these symbols, a laptop and a book, to remind you of your days in Enniscorty Vocational College. It reminds us of the online classes, the heavy school bag, the lost or broken locker key, the unnecessary trip to the locker during class, the challenges and joys of school, but most of all it reminds us of the learning that has taken place and the knowledge that you can take with you out into the world and onto the next chapter of your life. I present this thatched cottage, a leave and start construction studies project will not only demonstrate our creativity but also symbolises our love, pride, discipline and commitment to the creative, artistic and practical subjects in our school lives. I present this football which symbolises the sport and leisure activities of our school life. To our sport and battles, when we lost, we have learned our parts of recreation and to what we represent in our school. This is a symbol of our community. These are the picnic benches. This reminds us of the race to get there, the disagreements over seats. There's been laughter and tears and many memories shared here. We hope to never forget this. Well, I want to say to all the students of Enniscorthy Vocational College that you've had two very difficult years, 2020 and 2021. They haven't been easy to try to uh, put in your school work at home and for the limited time that you were in school also. I want to compliment you on the dedication that you had to doing this work so that you'd be able to further your education and further your careers going on into the future. I would also like to, to thank 
all of your teachers, the whole staff of the school who are so committed to your education. And I would hope that you would be able to thank each and every one of them before you leave Enniscorthy Vocational College, knowing all the hard work that they have put into your education. Going on into the future, you will also find, as you have in the past couple of years, difficulties in life. You will find that they will come your way, ups and downs and so on like that. But be positive always. Always have positive thinking in your life. Always know that there is good around the corner and that you will be able to achieve your ambitions if you work hard for them and really go for what you want in life. I wish you well going on into the future. I know that you will have long, please God, happy lives, happy careers, and that you will find contentment in all that you do. And always know that you're not on your own in the world, that there are many people around to give you support and to give you help, as they have done in the last number of years that you have been a student at Enniscorthy Vocational College. Appreciate what people have done for you and appreciate also that there's always somebody there to help you in your life, be it in trying times or in good times, and always stick close to the friends that you have. Never believe that the world has you on your own, that there's always somebody there to be with you, to support you. I wish you well going on into the future. Thank you for being very much part of Enniscorthy Vocational College. Your contribution has been appreciated and please God that you will appreciate the life that you have spent there too. On behalf of the trustees and management of this school, I offer you the light of faith. When you were a baby, someone held this light and named you. Over the years, the flame has been fueled by the influence of those around you. Focus on keeping faith and growing your roots so strong that no one can make you believe you are someone you're not. As the stars in the night and the sun in the sky, a source of light will always find you. Never let the weight of this world outshine you. My name is Ellen Wilson and on behalf of the parents and guardians, I offer you the light of love. This light was lit for you a long time ago. You depended on this light in those early days. It is the light you ran to when things went wrong, and it was the light that was left on for you when you feared the dark. This light waited up for you when you were late home, and the light was always there, even on the days you wished it wasn't. And on the day, you find the flickering light run out by the troubles of life. There will always be a light burning for you in the place you call home. May love and light always find you, and loneliness and unhappiness always be a stranger. On behalf of the whole school community, both past and present, I offer you the light of peace. Peace does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise, trouble or hard work. It means to be in the midst of those things and still be calm in your heart. May this light of peace protect you, allow you to overcome problems that life may throw at you and remember only when you are at peace with your past can you move forward with your life. Hi, I'm Jamie, I'm Jamie, and on behalf of all, of all the students that you leave behind, we offer you the, 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 light, the light of memory. It's been, it's been a few, few years since, 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 since you've been a first years like, like us. Hi, I'm Amy, I'm showing my many friends and good memories in the school. 
Days pass by and four years school days are over. Carry this slight memory with you, tell stories of days in the classroom and on the playing field. Hi, I'm Gavinson. Remember the victories, disappointments, successes, failures, and most of all the friends you made along the way. We ask you to remember us. We will continue the story of events for the vocational college to the end of 21 and beyond. Remember us and we will remember you. On behalf of the staff of the school, I offer you the light of wisdom. Carry this light with you into the next chapter of your life. Over the last five years here in EBC, you have all gained a wealth of knowledge, but wisdom is not the product of schooling or something that you can be given. Instead, wisdom comes from living and must be discovered by each of you individually. Now, in the next stage of your life, you must be open to learning that is ahead of you. We encourage you to be curious, to know what sparks the light in you, and then use it to illuminate the world. Don't forget to always live your life to the fullest and take all opportunities that encourage wisdom to grow. We hope that you find wisdom that will inspire you to find the good and true in life and that in time you become the light of wisdom for others that follow after you. Finally, remember to be a voice, not an echo. Have integrity in all that you do and blaze brightly wherever life takes you. Looking back on your first day, who would have taught what your years at EBC would have brought? From the laughter and tears, homework studies and sideline cheers, from projects to practical and a little bit theatrical, class trips, curry chips, till I left it in my locker miss and looking for the best exam tips. Throughout this time, memories have been made, friendships formed that time won't fade. You have proved yourselves capable, determined and able. So as you leave us here, remember that. You don't just follow the path. Command your own journey, writing the next chapter to your story. like to give very special wishes from the Boris Week classes to all of our Leaving Cert students for the class of 2021 and most especially I'd like to give very special wishes to Ethan, to Jake and to Damien. Um, you've been very valuable members of our school community and most especially so here in the Boro Suite. We wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you. In 2021, we want to thank our parents and guardians, families and staff of EBC. The guidance, hard work and dedication they have shown has been greatly appreciated down through the years. But most especially in the last few months, may they continue to be a guiding light as we prepare for the next stage in our lives. Tonight we ask for the compassion and concern for others and we may look after each other in these challenging times. We hope for those who are sick with the virus to heal and for those who have died may they rest in peace. We ask for kindness and respect. We ask that we treat everyone with the kindness and respect they deserve and we receive the same in return. Kind words can be short and easy to speak and their echoes are truly endless. In a world where you can be anything, 
be kind. L'obtention de diplôme est enfin réussi et un début passionnant. Si vous continuez à rêver, continuez à apprendre, continuez à faire de votre mieux, vous attendrez vos objectifs et vivre la vie qui vous était destinée. Tasseur de Gwyn comme exonus à Kisra à Gwyn en Aradoki. Eremit Gunyar Tofer en Akadrif et Renamar et Ram Meligron. Pouan en Slanche, Sonus à Kisra à Gwyn en Adalti Galer, à Kis Era, Fuerens Gullet en Amlon. We are setting out on our journey into this adult life. A huge part of the journey had been the relationships that we formed in the UBC. We thank our parents, guardians and families, the teachers and the staff of Enesport Vocational College and the whole EBC community. Graduation is an exciting time. It's both an ending and a beginning. It's warm memories of the past and big dreams for the future. Es gibt Personen, mit denen wir diese Feier celebrate hatten. Aber wir sind trotzdem dankbar dafür, dass wir es so weit geschafft haben. Though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you can never tell how close you are, it may be near when it seems afar. Life is strange with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit, it's when things seem worse that you mustn't quit. Uh, hi lads, I just want to add my congratulations to uh, those that have been expressed already on completing uh, your second level education. It's a big milestone and uh, it's great to see you all get through to the end of it. I'd also like to uh, acknowledge the people that came in after TY um, and what a positive influence on the group they were. Um, I've seen a lot of changes in you over the years. Um, 
and you know look that's life life is all about change and just keep that in mind as you go forward what you're like at the minute you know you won't necessarily be like that in years to come you know try and think positively and look to embrace change change is a good thing okay. um you know above all else i just want you to live your life you know don't just exist day to day doing nothing set out some goals for yourself and you know be bold in trying to achieve them you know go after them try and do something with yourself um above all else you know don't be afraid to dream big you know good things don't always have to happen to just to other people there's no reason why they can't happen for you okay so just be nice to people enjoy yourself live your life and all the best all right take it easy bye bye On this special occasion of your graduation from Enniscorthy Vocational College, as your year head, I want to express my appreciation and pride in what you have achieved at this college. Your commitment to the school, your commitment to your work, and most importantly, your commitment to each other has been a great source of inspiration and pride to us all. We wish you well for your future, and remember, the door is always open for your return. Garamila Mahabuil Galea. Hello everyone, as we come to the end of our time here at EBC, it is now that we can all come together and give ourselves the pat on the back that we all deserve. Although it goes without saying, the last two years have been difficult, it is important that we cherish the good memories that we've enjoyed over these last five or six years. I'd like to thank the graduation committee, especially Mr Sharkey and Ms Cullen, for the work that they've done in making this all possible. I'd like to take a moment to give thanks to our teachers for all their support, both academically and personally, through our years of education. I think I speak for us all when I say they're honest, sincere and hardworking. A good teacher discovers a hidden treasure inside each student and is both a friend and a guide. Yes, at times we have considered them as a torn in our sides, plaguing us for essays and assignments. I suppose it's clear to say though that their continued work in helping us achieve our goals and be the best that we can be has not gone unnoticed and we will all be forever grateful. We must also thank our parents and guardians for all their help and support over the years. Our dreams are constantly changing, yet our parents and guardians have supported us no matter what. It is thanks to them that we are the people we are today. Personally, I've made some great lifelong friendships during my time here at EBC. I've formed strong personal bonds with a close group of friends through our shared experiences. However, though it may be over and I'll never forget my TY, the experience I needed to break out of my shell and truly enjoy my remaining years in school. I'll always keep these friends in my life and always remember the good times we share. Time continues to tick by and life continues to pass. Today is one of those inevitable days for us all. So today we say our goodbyes for now to teachers, fellow students and the school. I hope everyone here today will leave ready to tackle the world and pursue their dreams. Graduation class in 2021, thank you all for an unforgettable six years. having a little bit of a chat, me and Dermot, before uh, in the break, uh, because you made it into the news, didn't you? I was a bit confused, to be honest with you. They're there here, they they're are. joining us now. Good morning, Maria. Good Hi, morning, lads. Sean. How are you? Get ready, Britta. Live from London, it's The X Factor. And here's your host, Mr Dermot O'Leary. Welcome to the X Factor, your Saturday night starts right here! Hello, this is a message from me, Dermot O'Leary, to you, uh, the Inner School the Vocational Class of 2021. What? We're there already? Uh, I just want to say congratulations, guys. 
Uh, imagine you've been studying in the most challenging of times, but uh, well done you. Now get out there and uh, you've got your roots. Now uh, get your wings and fly. Big love.